for my second question, I mean, I can already hear the school officials just dreading the paperwork required to opt every single student into every single lesson that touches on sex education, gender identity, and sexual orientation. I mean, some people might predict that teachers would now avoid those lessons to get around that extra work when they're already so busy. So can you explain why making it harder for children to learn about sexual health is a benefit? Hmm. Well, I, I guess if if uh, if teachers are indeed talking to kids about sex every single day, every day of the school year, then I guess that this policy has demonstrated why we need to put it in place. But if, as I suspect, uh, there is structured education on structured days, then I don't think it's a hardship for our schools to say, this is the day that we're going to be discussing issues of sexuality, sexual orientation, and gender identity. I, it shouldn't be onerous. It actually should be fairly straightforward to be keeping parents in the loop on these issues. Premier Danielle Smith advocates for a more structured approach to sex education in schools, emphasizing the need for organized and controlled discussions on sexuality. She suggests dedicating specific days for this purpose to alleviate the administrative burden on teachers and ensure a streamlined curriculum. Smith's stance reflects a preference for policies aligned with societal norms and values, aiming to strike a balance between addressing important topics and maintaining order in the classroom. Her proposal signals a controlled and thoughtful approach to handling potentially controversial subjects such as gender health within the education system.